Namaste everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the morning session. Sabhi ko namaste. Good morning and welcome. We are doing UHV3 in the morning session and we did about nine lectures and we are doing the practice session exercise two observing the self and the body by the self and we are up to step three after this then we'll go back to where we left off in the lectures and then again in between at some point we'll be coming back to the exercises after a few lectures so this is the pattern that we have been following now in step three First of all, if we look at the steps that we saw in exercise two, observing the self and the body by the self. So remember the exercise one, observing the self by the self. That part continues when we go into exercise two. What is going on within the self that we need to be aware of all the time that is going on regardless. In addition, now we are also paying attention to the body and the interaction that is there between the self and the body. So in step one of exercise two, we are trying to observe these two distinct realities, the self and the body, trying to see directly that these are two separate realities. I, the self, I am there and I can see that I am there by the imagination that is going on in me. I can see the imagination, the desires, the thoughts, the expectations that are there going on in me. And I can also see that the body is there. I know that the body is there because... I can read various sensations through the sense organs of the body. For instance, if I look at, you know, we say I can see the body through the eyes. So the eyes, I'm using the gross eyes to help form the reflection of the body in the retina. And then I make out that this is the body. Similarly, I can use other sense organs also. So even if my eyes are closed, for instance, I can make out through the sense of touch in the body that the body is there. So we'll find that we can make out that these two realities are there. I, the self, is there. And the body, a distinct separate reality, a material reality, that is also there. Then in exercise two, step two, we were trying to observe the interaction that is there between the self and the body. So I can see that I give some instructions to the body. The body doesn't do, just do things on its own. I have some thoughts, some feelings running in me on the basis of which I give some instruction to the body. And I give only those instructions to the body that I think are important at that time. So I may give the instruction to the body like get up, to walk, to sit down, go to sleep, whatever. Depending on what I think is important for me to do at that time. So this instruction that I am giving to the body, it is information, a form of information. Now, if you look at the body, the body being a material unit is also self-organized. 
and has many processes going on in it for which i don't necessarily have to give moment to moment instructions so many processes are going on in the body and there are various sensations you know regarding these processes with these processes there are many sensations that are there in the body i don't read all the sensations that are there in the body i read some of these sensations whichever i think are important i taste the sensation that i read and i give some meaning to it and accordingly then i give the instruction so this sensation that i am reading this is also a form of information therefore this interaction between the self and the body we'll find it is only in the form of information nothing physical is being transferred between the self and the body it is just information we try to see this then in step 3 yesterday we were talking about observing who is the decision maker is it the self or is it the body who is the one who is deciding to give instruction to the body or to read specific sensations from the body is it the self or is it the body is it the self who is deciding what instruction to read what sensation uh, what instruction to give what sensation to read or is it the self Uh, is it the body that is compelling me to read some sensation so who is deciding this and we were able to conclude that i am the one who is deciding about this exchange of information between myself and the body all these decisions are entirely mine and i find that i am only interacting with the body sometimes as and when i require not all the time much of the time i may be busy with myself and i am not even aware that the body is there but whenever i need to i give instruction to the body whenever i need to i read sensations from the body so ultimately i am the one who is deciding everything and i am using the body like an instrument so within myself we already saw in exercise 1 step 4 that i decide my feeling and on the basis of this feeling i am deciding my thought my expectation so when i decide my desire my feeling my thought my expectation i am busy with myself i may be having this imagination going on for a long time but whenever i need to take work from the body wherever i want to get something done through the body then i give instruction to the body accordingly according to whatever work i want to take from the body and the body does whatever i instructed to do so the decision is mine i am deciding and then i operate the body as per my decision so i am using the body like a tool or like an instrument and when i read the sensation from the body i use that taste from the sensation to decide what to do next 
what to do with the outside world and again i may instruct the body to do something and this goes on and on so yesterday we gave a short assignment we said that all day yesterday we were supposed to look at our every interaction with the body and observe this who is deciding is it you the self or is it the body when you are doing routine activities like walking talking eating who is deciding who is giving instruction when hunger is there who is deciding you are deciding or the body is deciding it is time for food when you wake up in the morning who is deciding you have to get out of bed or you want to sleep more is it the body that is telling you forcing you or you are thinking of something and therefore you are telling the body something instructing the body something so you must have had some observations if you were able to do this assignment yesterday you must have noticed for yourself what is happening and if you would like to share some observations or even if you have any questions or doubts about this you can listen to you, listen to them morning i am unable to plan my work actually self only decide that is very clear mm-hmm. but meditation and everything i am unable to do that on uh, thinking is imagination is going on sleeping only i am some dreams also come in the night or some other day so self is the decision maker that is i am very clear but theoretically mm-hmm. i have noted everything is okay but uh, when come to activity for example walking is a good exercise everyone knows but uh, laziness will come how to overcome this yeah so laziness is there in the body or the self laziness is in the body but self not self says act to walk but the body refuse to control ah uh-huh. if you think like this it will not work because now you think i can't do anything body is lazy body is refusing body cannot refuse it means that i am not motivated enough to do it somewhere i don't consider it important right now if i am told that there is a huge medical problem and to solve it i have to walk one hour every day otherwise there is going to be a huge problem will i do it or will i not do it at that time i would definitely we will do that <laughs> so then what happened to the body's laziness now uh- <laughs> so in case of physical this comes then only we can overcome that on our way is we are doing uh, some uh, postpone that work ah yes. because we think that it's not so important right now yes but yes. if we get this kind of information then we think okay now there's no go and i have to do it otherwise the body may not be there anymore hmm. then i will force myself and i will do it it's yes. just that i am not motivated enough isn't it because yes i think okay what's the big deal if i don't work one day today but we can also see that the body has some limitations of course that yes. not that the body can continue like when you were 20 years old na as the yes. body is aging it is going through some degenerative processes but certainly you can make efforts and you can keep the body alive i mean agile and uh, active depending on what we think is important na huh? yes so i would say that we need to choose what we are doing 
if i take responsibility for the body and i want to nurture the body i will give it the right food i will also make sure that some exercise is happening there is movement in the body so that it stays you know in harmony as long as it can not that i can change things completely you know the body i can't go beyond its limitations but then there is a wide range of what the body is capable of isn't it yes and we manage with less than perfect health and a lot of times the body will just go along so you will find people who are very obese the body is going along i am giving the wrong instructions i am making it eat more than it needs the body is becoming fat body doesn't have a problem body will keep doing whatever i tell it so it is i who have to decide yes. this yes. is important for me i need to do it i'll choose to do it but if i feel that right now what does it matter chalo today you know let's leave it feeling tired let it be then i leave it but at that very moment if i get some information that i need to go quickly run in to the post office and deliver something i will do it isn't it yes. then the tiredness seems to be gone so i am making those decisions but sometimes i'm not doing it with awareness so i just need to be aware that this is my responsibility i need to do this sometimes we can club it also like i am attending this program i am listening to it na yeah? yes. while i am listening to it i can use earphones carry my phone and do walking along with it so two things get done i am listening to what is being said anyway i am listening i may be sitting and listening i may be yes. walking and listening that's my choice so that way we can try to put in whatever we think is important we find a way so i would say we are not giving it enough importance therefore it's happening but in meditation part also i am very weak i don't know how why no but this part is clear ha ah, that, that part is clear point. because of postpone is our mistake i understood Uh, not mistake. I would say we are not giving it enough importance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then meditation, it's uh, very difficult to that one. Even mind is not uh, stable. Even fifteen minutes, uh, even uh, say something. One part you have imagine fifteen minutes enough. Uh, do that activity or some other god you think. Fifteen uh, minutes you can sit in the one position in idle mind. it's not possible to that one see again we should be clear about what we want to do and what it is that we mean D different people have different meanings to meditation now also you are saying different things hmm. keep the mind idle how do you keep the mind idle it is the nature of the mind to think it will keep thinking hmm. so what exactly are we doing in meditation if we are trying to stop thinking it's going to be very difficult and very frustrating mm. because you can't get the mind to stop thinking mm. that is its nature it will think so basically what you are trying to do and what is also being said here and which we are trying to do is to observe what is going on not that you stop thinking because you can't do that but you see what you are thinking make out what you are thinking there you will find you are able to do it and there is focus and there is nothing very difficult about it it's just that because we have not been paying attention inside we are busy looking outside therefore when we try to do it we find it very difficult so lot of people therefore say that you know first you try to settle the body instead yeah. of walking around moving all the time all the time sit for 10 minutes sit down in one place try not to move 
see if you can do that slowly you will find you can do it of course you can do it it's just that we are not we are not accustomed to it and we don't know what to do when we are by ourselves we'll find that all the time we are going outward if i am sitting by myself okay then we call it time pass for time pass we listen to music we do we always want some interaction with the outside otherwise we feel insecure somehow but this is a practice that one can do one can sit by oneself for 10 minutes and try to be in one position now if you tell yourself i must not move i must not move i must not move then surely you will move in those 10 minutes but if you are trying to do something else like you are observing within you what is going on then you may be able to cross those 10 minutes in no time i will try ha ah, try this because lot of times you will find anyway we are busy with ourselves it's just that we are not looking to see what we are thinking but so many times we keep thinking something and we are sitting in one place only not doing anything else but sitting and thinking about something and time may pass and then we realize oh it's already time for me to go and i may feel that i didn't do anything but i was sitting and i was busy by myself now if i start observing what is going on i'll be able to see what is this nonsense i'm thinking na no? i'm worrying about somebody said something to me two years back and now i'm thinking about it now if i become aware of this i will realize what is the point of this so i will think something more positive something more useful to myself but if i am not aware of what i am thinking i will be in a bad mood good mood depending on what i am thinking and i don't know why my mood is like that isn't it yes so try right. to try to hmm. sit in one place and see we'll okay. be doing some of that here also yes okay thank you good morning ma'am mm-hmm. uh, uh past uh, two days uh, when i see uh, i have a imagination based on sensation and imagination based on natural acceptance uh sometimes what happens is uh, as you told uh, we want to wake up at the morning at early one voice tells that you have to get up early today you have to do all the work one says let us sleep uh, and some days i go by the sensation and i start sleeping off now what is that which is taking the decision of uh, either uh, accepting natural acceptance or imagination of sensation wait 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 hmm. natural acceptance or imagination or sensation imagination itself is going on within you okay let's be clear about what this is what they mean try to see this in yourself you are feeling something thinking something isn't yes. it yes yes imagination can be motivated can be driven by three sources yes one of the main sources which you have not mentioned is preconditioning what uh, i pre-con- believe to be true ah uh, yeah based on that i keep thinking something mm yes huh? yes the other can be sensation yes i like the taste of something yes sweet i want to mm. get that sweet i am thinking about that sweet yes i feel okay i have a good meal heavy meal mm. now i am feeling sleepy i feel so mm. i am thinking about a nice bed and going to sleep yes mm. even if i am in my office my mm. thoughts are about a good bed comfortable mm. bed fan is on mm. and i am sleeping okay this this might be i mean i am just giving mm. an example of what mm. might be going on in the imagination mm. and what is motivating mm. the third source which is the natural acceptance mm. has to do with my purpose yes yes so if i am you know if i am clear about the body the self that you know i am taking responsibility for the body mm. then i will decide 
what is important if it seems to be night time yes. it is time for the body to sleep to get some rest i will instruct it to sleep okay to lie down in the bed mm. if i think it is important to get up in the morning and do something mm. you no know, yes i will instruct it to get up so somewhere you know, i am deciding i am choosing and these two thoughts mm. that you are saying yes these are conflicting thoughts within myself yes yes no one thought yes. is let me sleep for some more time yes you will find you are constantly doing this let me sleep for some more time mm. and when it is the days of the college week days mm. i force myself to get up because otherwise i'll be late i have to go to college mm. it's important for me to get up now i think it's important so i give the decision get up you know, get ready go and the body follows yes yes it's a sunday and i am off today and mm. i don't have to go to college now i you know have different meaning at now to this morning same time i don't have to get up yes i i can see that you know i don't have to go to college i can sleep some more so i instruct the body accordingly yes but these conflicting thoughts are going on in me only isn't it yes yeah. but uh, some days uh, i go by the sensation some days i go by the natural acceptance yeah because my imagination can be driven by all three sources no so okay. sometimes it is driven by natural acceptance sometimes it is driven by sensation sometimes it is driven by preconditioning so how do i keep my imagination go by natural acceptance only refer to the natural acceptance more so simple okay okay no okay. what is naturally acceptable to me in the doing part mm. you know it will be hard to mm. try to answer that question yes like, yes should i do this or should i do that that yes. you cannot answer through the natural acceptance you see the purpose behind it why you don't want to do what you are doing okay then it will become clear to you you okay. ask yourself why do i want to do it what mm. is the purpose of doing it mm. no yes so yes. if it is just to uh, get some good feeling from somebody then you know that this is not naturally acceptable to you what is yes. naturally acceptable to you is to have the right feeling within you yeah so like yeah. that you can take guidance from your natural acceptance you have to keep referring to it okay thank you namaskar madam namaskar to all so madam am i audible yes you are audible ah uh, madam thank you uh, in my activities i observed i only uh, am deciding uh, what to do and all you know in all activities but actually what also i observed uh, the uh, information in between body and uh, myself there is only information exchange it mm. means body also has the ability to convert the physical objects for example the i i one uh, i as a body matter it also has the ability to convert the matter into information is it true madam my, my observation no no what oh. did you what was the example you gave i uh, i i let us say one sense organ i huh. my my eyes huh. i i am seeing the physical body means what uh, actually uh, through the matter so through through the matter through i through the mm. physical matter i uh, means e y i mm. i am able to see what do you mean by able to see able to see means what suppose the physical object uh, uh, objects around me are seen by uh, me only na no, madam ah but what do you mean by seen by me what is happening in that process ah in that process so the body means the matter i e y i has the ability to convert the no no, uh, no. what do you say this what do you mean by convert this uh, i mean i mean the ability of the body ability of the body 
what is the ability of the body ability of the body is to convert uh, the material object so what into do you mean by convert how do you get this convert uh, because uh, the exchange is only information see again we are believing something and we have some preconditioning also so we are mixing the two we have to maybe maybe to maybe, maybe maybe madam body like we keep saying now when you say the eyes mm, yes, i am using the eyes yes madam now if you see reflection of many things right now where are you sitting in a room yeah yeah madam okay in the room there are many things around you no mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the reflection of all these things is falling on the eye yes definitely are you paying attention to all of them no what no. what are you paying attention to whatever you think is important mm -hmm. if you have a laptop or mobile in front of you maybe you are paying attention to that mm -hmm. yes madam so now what is the body doing and what am i doing that should be clear body is converting body all into no wait yes. how is the body converting anything body is just giving that you know that reflection is forming on the retina mm hmm that whatever is happening some changes happen now that is being conveyed to the brain yeah yeah that self organization is there in the body yes madam hmm? now what am i doing i am getting getting that information meaning i am taking that information which i need hmm. from the body mm hmm and i am making sense out of it no i am deciding giving meaning to it mm -hmm. otherwise what did the body do the body just reflected everything it's like if you have a good instrument mm -hmm. no yes yes madam so for the instrument it is doing some part mm -hmm. now i am choosing i am selecting what is important for me mm -hmm. i am deciding what this actually means Hmm. Hmm? If you are yes. using a microscope to see something, hmm. Hmm. now that microscope is only showing that picture. Yeah, yeah, really. But what it is actually, you no. Know, whatever I am thinking about it, that is all mine, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Body is not doing anything there. Yes, madam. So this is what is being said, and hmm. we have to try to observe this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have observed that. I am only deciding everything. Mm -hmm. I am just using the body like a tool. Mm -hmm. Body is not converting anything. Body is just, you know, all these sensations that are there in the body, through the mm -hmm. eyes also. This is a sensation. Mm -hmm. And many such sensations are there. So even through the eyes, all these things are getting reflected into the retina. Yes, madam. But so, I am choosing something out of it, and I am giving meaning to it. Mm hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, madam. Yeah, the same thing actually. I am asking, and uh, answer is also in it. So mm -hmm. everything is convertible by body by itself. I see. When you say convertible, you don't know what you are saying. What does it mean? Can uh, you so just know, madam? In in our discussion, whatever I feel important, I am choosing, na. Hmm. Suppose if it had not been in the form of information, how had I been? Ah, uh, uh, how would I be able to uh, sense it? Uh, sense it. Uh, take the information. Ah, huh, so I am using the body. Yeah. So body has the ability yes. to convert into information. <laughs> See, body is physiochemical. Yeah, yeah. In that physiochemical process, ah, uh, it has the ability to convert the matter into information, and that information only I am able to see. Information is what I am getting from the body, not because the body is giving it to me, because I am choosing. Ah, uh, yeah, it is um, whatever there is. Suppose if I am uh, observing our uh, external things. But if you things, see in the, if you do a CT scan. Yeah, yeah, madam. You will find that some changes are happening in the brain. Where mm, is the yeah. information there? There is no information. 
there are some changes in the information changes. in the scan changes in the you CT will be scan. able to notice them there are physiochemical changes mm -hmm. you can do a lab test you can mm -hmm. find out some mm -hmm. chemicals have changed some secretions are there mm -hmm. but when i am getting that i am not taking those secretions and finding out ah that is okay madam suppose if i see different objects around me whatever i feel important i am taking okay but suppose if i feel something is important some other is important i may i am also able to take that also how because it has it has also been uh, in the form of information uh, i am again you try to reflect on this we'll not discuss more okay okay madam okay. try to see this directly in yourself yeah yeah madam how it may be happening mm -hmm. we may have some idea about it that the body is doing this body is doing that because we are tuned to that based on our preconditionings mm. but try to keep it open mm -hmm. yeah yeah madam i have been observing try to see the possibility that see in the body many chemicals are released mm -hmm. would you call that information no 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 that is matter only chemical means matter only na but that uh, self uh, uh, doesn't take it na self takes only information from the body ah so self is able to read that and make sense of it this is what we are saying okay so eyes are forming the inverted image that's all the eye is doing mm -hmm. because why i have got doubt this uh, because you only have told uh, there is information only between the body and the mind not the physical matter ah so what a, what is we are also saying that i am the one who is giving this instruction i am the one who is reading the sensation yeah 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 i am the information body is doing this information we never said anywhere ah you uh, you never said but uh, information only is exchanged you told na Ah, so who is doing the exchange? Ah, yes, yes. Means that self is also there in the body. Self is not there in the body. We didn't say that. Ah, self it is means there in coexistence with the body. Self is associated with the body. Where did we say that the self is in the ah, body? Ah, yeah, yeah. No, you have not told. Ah, this is what happens. See? Unless, unless it is there in the body, how is it able to convert the matter into information? Ah, right. see it is associated with it it is ah, yeah it is associated all yeah, yeah. units are coexisting in space yeah 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 hmm? how is the self thinking things now you will say the energy is coming from the food in the body we can you know analyze and say all kinds of things yeah yeah madam but is it like this hmm try to see directly hmm that is also yes madam actually whatever you have just told there is also my doubt madam Mm. matter is matter is there and uh, how is the energy is lying in it we are converting so that is uh, matter is converting into energy so it is there in it uh, like that my doubts are there madam yeah as we go along you try ah, to yeah, see yeah, yeah. try to do the exercises the way it is being uh -huh. said and see when we are listening also what is being said i interpret it based on my own preconditioning ah uh, yeah madam yes really 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 so if you try to listen to what is being said you will notice many things that you said mm -hmm. are not in alignment there maybe maybe yes madam mm -hmm. yeah yeah so, i have been listening to you uh, i have been listening to you from the beginning very clearly and i like to uh, listen because a lot of information is uh, passed uh, very clearly that's why i'm asking you madam thank you no, madam i am not uh, having any problem with your asking Uh -huh, it is madam. just that i am uh -huh. just trying to say that we are doing many things based on our own preconditioning we ah, are interpreting things differently yeah yeah really man really okay. yeah, same yeah. words being said five different people listen five different people will have different interpretation yeah, yeah, based really, on their own preconditionings yeah different that is why it is important for us to directly observe even if our competence may not be there and we may not be able to observe right now yeah we must try to directly observe and as long as we can't observe we must mm -hmm. keep it open don't yeah, yeah, believe ma'am. anything that i am saying don't disbelieve it also yeah yeah madam right yeah. try to keep it open 
if i am curious to know what is this interaction how is it happening only mm-hmm. then will i be able to see it also at some point yeah yeah ma'am no curiosity i will not see it yeah yeah definitely madam so that's why the focus on the exercise being that we must try to directly observe ah oh, yeah yeah madam i'm i'm, so I'm keep trying it open for now. keep uh-huh. that interaction part open for yourself mm mm-hmm. mm and try to you know pay more attention to what mm actually i have been trying madam this also i have been observing and not uh, 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 clear that's why and uh, third one heartbeat and all na you have told madam by uh, without uh, means what that instruction is uh, inbuilt na madam i mean to say it is uh, self ordered heartbeat digestion every and all this you have already told every unit in nature is self organized okay 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 of every order mm-hmm. whether it be material whether it be consciousness no whatever some self organization is there already okay okay hmm? yeah yeah the digestion the all these things you can see plants ah, yes madam yes madam the root they goes grow. inside it takes something mm-hmm. from the soil now you will say how is it happening mm-hmm. so some some self organization is already there in all the units yeah madam by you recall when we talk of submergence Uh-huh. all the units are submerged in space being in space all the units are self energized they mm. have the energy in them being in space all the units are self organized mm-hmm. there already is an organization going on within them mm. moment okay madam so being in space right. all the units are self energized they are self organized and they recognize their relationship with every other unit and fulfill that relationship mm-hmm. these three characteristics we said for all units mm-hmm. by virtue of just being submerged in space so now that will answer many of the questions yeah yeah madam yeah ma madam thank you ah uh, so uh, all activities of our body are under the control of the self and the sense uh, the the reading from the um, sensory organs and the decision making is done by mind and the other activities are not controlled by mind why only mind why didn't you say self yes it is already part of mind is part of self so, ah, so the... why not use self then i know so my body we have a heart uh, lungs uh, etc uh, doing specific um, uh, functions no ma'am so ju- just like that so self we can give uh, the name the all the activities um, can be called self and in that the sensory uh, uh, inputs are uh, processed by mind and all other activities are not controlled by mind no 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 mind is what what is mind yeah mind is for mind is that part of the self which interacts with the uh, senses senses and makes uh, a problem so you is- mean to say when you are feeling something now here yeah. you are not interacting with anything outside no you are feeling something that is not yeah, part that of that is also you- that is also part of mind okay you can read it so, so read let's it. just interpret casually like that na no? when we say mind we said that entire b2 block some people refer to as mind some people refer only to that selecting tasting part the expectation part to do with the mind so now you can't just categorically say that only with the senses something uh, that part is the mind we should be clear about in ourselves what we can see na does it make sense na uh, yeah uh, but this the other activities like digestion 
this is not uh, part of that whatever that imagination is it digestion is an activity that is in the body body is hmm. material this activity is physiochemical ha huh. i can think about it but definitely that activity is not going on in me what exactly is your question ha 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 no no my, my question was whether this uh, heartbeat and uh, this one is part of the self how will it be part of the self is it going on in the self or in the body hmm. where is it going on Uh, so i was uh, trying to uh, connect the word self with the the self activity self means uh, whatever that is happening automatically within the body or that our human being so it is uh, we have, are taking I only imagination part and self i have given consent to associate i am associating with the body na yeah. hmm but many things i am not giving moment to moment instruction but that doesn't mean that whatever i am giving instruction also that is happening in me i am only giving the instruction that is exactly what we are saying yeah, nothing no chemical is being transferred hmm i am only passing some information hmm. that is relayed in the body you know the impact on the body is in the form of physiochemical changes that is matter Hmm. No. So how is that process going on in me? That process is not going on in me. That process is going on in the body. Okay. Do I have some impact on that? I certainly do. Mm hmm. Even though I am not giving moment to moment instruction, mm -hmm. the moment I have some anxiety, it affects my digestion. Does it not? Yes. Yes. Does the huh. body. Hmm. It does. Ah uh, yes. if i am anxious the heart beat in the body increases does it not ha uh, yes yes so the impact is there so not that you know things are just going on separately there is no connection there is no hard bound hard wired connection but just by association just by the impact of one unit on the other some effect is there right Mm hmm some things are going on as part of the self organization in the body things are happening circulation is happening heart beat heart is pumping all of that yeah. is happening uh -huh. but this is the body is you know the body is able to be in harmony by itself but i think something i am worried about something i am anxious now there is disharmony in the body the heart beat increases or the digestion suffers or some problem happens no hmm so i do have a role to play but if i understand things correctly if i understand the body correctly then i will see that you know if i have the right feeling in me then it will not lead to interference in the body's harmony then the body can continue to be in harmony no hmm whatever i am thinking whatever i am feeling the impact will come on the body because the every unit is being reflected onto every other unit hmm hmm similarly body whatever is going on in the body some impact will be on the self because this reflection is there you know of one unit on the other so some mm. impact of what is going on in the body will also be there on the self mm -hmm. but if i am limited to the b2 block then no. i may be influenced very much by this mm. but if i am awakened to the higher activities then mm. this effect of the body the impact of the body on me will seem very less because i have awakened to the higher activities i have ensured my feeling yeah? hmm. and my my feelings my thoughts my whole b2 block my mind is in line with hmm. 
my natural acceptance hmm. now the effect of the body is almost minimal hmm. this is what you think sir hmm. hmm hmm thank you ma'am thank you all right some other questions are there i think couple of hands are raised but we should go forward um yes next slide yeah so i the self i am the seer the one who is seeing the one who is observing i am the doer doer in the sense i am deciding what to do and instructing the body so i essentially i am the doer and i am the enjoyer or the experiencer so when i place the body in a position you know in a certain position i say i feel comfortable when i place it in a different position i say i am uncomfortable i am experiencing body is not comfortable or uncomfortable body is just there so i see i observe as and when required i use the body to see so we talked of the five sensations so i am the one who decides to see so i am the observer and i am using the body like a tool and we took several examples for this If there are still questions we will take those also i decide to do so as and when required from time to time i am giving instructions to the body so i am the doer and i am the one who experiences happiness or unhappiness so i am the experiencer or the enjoyer you can say of the experience now we do have questions but we'll try to do this get let's go to the next slide yeah choose a comfortable posture to sit in and try not to change this body position we don't have quite 10 minutes we'll do this for 5 minutes you may keep your eyes open or closed and try to observe your interaction with the body try to observe who is the decision maker self or body what sensations can you read from the body what instructions did you give to the body try to observe all this remember you have to sit in a comfortable position try not to change this position 5 minutes we can all do this let us see what is happening hmm? what is the interaction that is going on and after 5 minutes we'll take your observations so i'll mute myself for 5 minutes okay nice we have been observing for about 5 minutes and um, sunil ji has nicely made it uh, yes the observation slide is showing 5 minutes so um what could we observe would we like to share what did we find in our observations when we were trying to do this namaskar didi namaste um well i'll tell you about the observation first when mm-hmm. i was sitting uh, cross leg i can feel some sensation of pain on my right leg uh, mm-hmm. that is a part of like skin and muscles that is a part of my body mm-hmm. and that sensation is read by cell and uh, the cell now sends the information to change the position of my right leg right leg so that it can be in comfortable position that i can see like how the information is uh, sensation is read by the self and the information is also followed by the body this i could observe is it the right way like uh, how to go upon yeah i mean you can see that the body is not changing the position by itself right you notice something some discomfort <laughs> right okay Now, some thought process is going on in you na 
Mm-hmm. It may be happening very fast, but if you see, if you look back, you will notice that you think about something and then you give the instruction to the body. No? Right. Yeah. So you'll observe the thoughts also. And with those thoughts, then you instruct the body and then the change in posture happens. The body, you know, changes the body. The body's posture is changed. So you can see this interaction. Slowly, if you are in that position, why we said to change, not to change the position? Because you will feel like changing the position at some point. So now you can observe that interaction that is going on. Yes. Right. Maybe one more question can I ask right now? Yeah, our uh, time is up actually. Tomorrow we will continue this. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Finish the step three and then um, take up the next step. Right. Thank Thank you. you so much. Thank you.